Hello everyone, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBP Nuts video series on binary search or binary interview, I mean binary tree interview questions. And this video is about construct binary tree from an in order and a pre order traversal. So if you have pre order and in order, then you have to construct a binary tree out of these two. I mean using these two. So pre order is like you have this root and then left and then right, correct? And if it is in order, you have left comma, sorry, root, and then you have right. So this is your pre order. This is your in order. So if you notice this, you always have this root in the beginning. So whenever you encounter any node inside this pre meaning that is acting as a root for now. So if you are given these two, and you want to know what will be the first one first root, I mean, the whole trees root, this is going to be this guy. Because if there was some tree and you are supposed to do pre order traversal, then you would always print this guy first. Okay. So if one is in the first place, meaning it was printed first, meaning this is the root. Okay. But with pre, you cannot say that which one is coming in the left hand side and which is coming in the right hand side of the root. So you know that, okay, this is your root for now because you are going for the first level. So you know, okay, this is the root, but you don't know what is the left and right of this root. So for that, you need this in order traversal. So you will search this one inside this whole thing. So you will traverse using for loop and you encountered that, okay, this one I can find here at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six and seventh location. Okay. These two are arrays. So we found this one in the seventh location. So we know that all these numbers from here to here are coming in the left hand side and all these are going to come in the right hand side. Still, we don't know the order, but we know all these combinations would come in the left hand side and these combination would go into the right hand side. So let's draw that. It will be easy. Okay. So this is how it is going to look like you, you have just fixed this number, this root. And you know that, okay, combination of this array is going to go into the left hand side and this is going to be in the right hand side, but still you don't know the orders. Okay. Now you will increment this pointer before you was looking for this one. Now this is the root. So you just increment this counter by one and now you have new root. This will always tell you the root because you will always encounter root in the beginning. The moment you go to some node, that is the root of the children's. Okay. And then only you will go for the left and right of that. So the property of pre order is you will always hit the root first and then the later left and right of that root. So now you have new root, which is two, and you have to find that in this meaning here. So you found that two is here. Now this is becoming the root here and this five will go here and this remaining will go here. Let's redraw this. Okay. So we have this root here too, and this is five and this is the left hand side. So this is done. Now you will increment again. Now you have new root and that you will search here. Why I'm telling you here, why not here? There is a reason. Okay. Because when you break, see, you found this two here, right here. So your left becomes this much, correct? We all know that, but this four, you have to search in the left hand side or in the right hand side. How would you decide that you will decide on the basis of this index, your index is five for two, right? So the same index you will apply on this guy. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. So this is the five till five index, whatever the numbers are coming, you will search in the left hand side of this one. Okay. So if you notice this, this is nothing but the divide and conquer. See, we are dividing array and processing the leftover array. So now this is our root four. So this is four. So this will become the root and then 10 will go into the bottom of this with nine and 11. And this is how it is going to look like. And then you will have this new root eight. So it is this guy. We know that, okay, this is only single number. So it is going to be like this only. Then we'll go ahead and increment the pointer. This nine is this. So now it will look something like this nine, 11 and 
10 and then this is done this also done because uh, 10 is like single number 11 is like a single number and then this 5 will search and this 5 is also a single number and then we'll go here so 3 is the root okay so now here 3 is the root so you will see where is 3 3 is here meaning here so left of this is going to be in the left hand side and right of this 3 is going to be in the right hand side so 3 7 and 6 this is how it is going to be so you know that this tree is helping to find out the root I mean the next root and you just find that root into this in order you will know what is the left and right of that root okay so this is how we'll construct this now let's quickly look at the code so if you notice this is your function build tree and pre and in are passed like this pre and in and what is the size of the array like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so we'll pass 11 here okay so this is going to be 11 so first time if we enter here we will create a root the first node and please zero see we are pointing at the zeroth location of the pre all the time see this is constant number meaning we will always look for the zeroth location of the pre and we'll keep changing pre using these increments okay so we'll see these things later now concentrate here for the first time you will always create a root okay this guy so you created this root because we have this zeroth location with the pre is this one so you created a node assigned to the root and now you are saying integer i is equal to zero and this is the loop which will help you to find this one inside this in order traversal okay so see we are trying to find in order is equal to equal to pre of zero so we are trying to find this one inside this in order so we'll find it here with zero one two three four five six and seven so we'll find it at seventh location and then we'll break it now we know that i is pointing at seventh location in the in order traversal and now we will have the divide and conquer here meaning we will have a new in order and pre order okay and the size so basically if you see this you're standing here now you want to say that from left of this guy i have new values to feed to this function i mean to pass to this function what is those new values my n is changing what is that n the length of this array now the length of this array is obviously i because we saw that right we calculated where is this one so the length of the array from 8 to 5 is i that's why our n what we initially passed as 11 now will be 7 and pre is pre plus 1 so this is like the address of your array plus 1 now it will point to this guy and in order is same you will always pass this place as the in order for the left because you know that whatever you found here the left of this one is always going to be in the left hand side okay so your in order will i mean the in order array would remain same you will not change that because it will always start from here okay now you sent and what you did for the right hand side yeah so this this whole thing is this whole line is for the left hand side of this one right what you found now you have to take care of the right hand side also right because this is divide and conquer so right hand side in order would start from here because you just divided this whole thing into different arrays how you do in the merge sort right so now you have to point or you have to tell that my in order would start from here and how would you say that you'll say in order plus i whatever i found meaning you will reach to this location this guy if you will do in order plus i then you will find this one right but this is not the correct place you have to make it plus one so see i plus one now you're saying my new in order for the right hand side is starting at six and pre-order is also starting at i plus one why because you found this one at seventh location and seventh location from here is zero one two three four five six seven this guy so this whole thing is always going to be 
in the left hand side including your found number including your root and what is going to be in the right hand side is if this is i location then i plus 1 so this is going to be your new root so that's why you're saying my pre for the right hand side is this guy and how would you say that my pre plus i plus 1 so you will point at this location so your right hand side pre is this one and now you have to say what is the length of this whole array so you just said that i have a new right array right so you have to tell the length of this one how would you say that you know the full length of this whole array is n correct now you are saying that i want to start from here so obviously minus i minus 1 and why this so n was initially 11 now you're saying minus 7 11 minus 7 is 4 minus 1 will result into 3 so this 3 is the length of this array so this is how you will calculate the right hand side array's length so this is that formula it is little bit tricky but i found this piece of code very neat and clean if you will give little bit of time to understand this you will be in love with the solution because there are other solutions which include creating a map or mapping all these in order sorry pre-order but that's not neat code i like this one because if you remember merge sort code that exactly look like this and in the end you will return the root and see if this guy is getting anything meaning see if you are returning this 2 from here okay let's talk about this 8 if you're returning this 8 from here to here meaning when you was standing at this 4 you went from here to here just because of this line okay now if this line is returning something meaning you have to initialize this returned 8 to your left hand side so it's like bottom up approach you will initialize this 8 to the left of this 4 till the moment you are going from here to here you don't know that this 8 is going to be your left child but when you are returning from here you will return this 8 and say that hey dude this is the left of yourself so this 4 will treat as the left i mean treat this 8 as the left and similarly when this 10 is returned this is treated as the left of 9 because you would have gone from here to here because of this line so when this guy is returned you know that you have to initialize this as the left and similarly this 11 will be returned because of this line and you will be assigning to the currents or roots right which is like ninth right hand side okay so similarly all these bottom up it will be like zigzag in the order and it will reach to the top okay you will keep initializing the relationship of the parent and child when you are going back in the traversal okay cool and if you have doubt whether this code will work or not so i have this piece of code which i executed and everything is passing you can see that so this is actually a running code it is very intuitive because you constructed this tree with divide and conquer only right you found this root and you traverse this whole thing and you found it here and then you divided this whole thing right this was your left and this was your right that's what you are doing with these two lines that's it these things these calculations are just saying that now i have found my current root okay so i'll create that as a root and the left of that from in order so this is your in order so from left of that in in order would be the left and the right of that would be in the right so that's what you are doing in this calculation i hope you like the video don't forget to hit the like button guys and thanks for watching bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos Ta -da.